And like it's cool. Like people people want to show off and like do all the flashy stuff. Like that's that's awesome. Like like I don't want to knock that. Oh, right. So we were here because a bunch of food was rotten. Oh that's so let's get this out of here. That's not Ron yet, but it's going to be, so get this out of here. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, you got a button that turns off the uh, stuff. Yeah, I, I get the, the nightlight idea. I'm actually just, I don't know. It's always been a thing. I have a lot of difficulty sleeping if there's lights in the room. Like, to the point that, you know, I didn't mess with my fire alarm. It took me adjusting. But where my previous apartment, like I had been, kind of thing, you couldn't you couldn't see, you know... Sorry, I'm being distracted trying to think about this. Uh, you know, like, you couldn't see the fire alarm's light. Like, the fire alarm was in the room because that's just per code and everything. Well, you couldn't really, like, see the light. But in the bedroom when I moved into my house, like the like it's just very visible in the bedroom. Uh, what's the fishing like in this game? Um, it's pretty. Oh, I have more stuff on me. Literally, you grab a spear and you go fishing, and you say okay, and you wait, and then fish show up in your bag. That said, it is getting a massive overhaul soon. But we don't like we don't know what that overhaul is gonna be like. And to be fair, like, there's been other systems in that game who have worked that way. Like, the the foraging is a perfect example, where it used to be, you walk to a spot and say, I would like to forage here. And your character would just dig in the ground, and you'd get stuff gradually. So that's how fishing works, but eventually it is going to be, like, you cast out and you pull it in. And I don't know the specifics of how that's going to work, but it'll be something like that. Like, they see your base, you're like, look, man, you're taking all this trash. This This isn't yours. You can't, you can't just take this stuff. What are you doing? Um, so yeah, rhetorical. So the next major update, which is update 42, they're going to be adding animal husbandry. They're going to have like cows, pigs, that kind of thing. Like specifically what we don't know is like all the different animals. We do know cows are one of them. Um, they have talked about adding wild animals. Now to the extent of that, we don't know. We know they, um, they showed pictures of deer, but past that we don't know. And, and I kind of on the same page, um, Nasty Anna, hey, you're not allowed to be in this town. I'm on the exact same page there where it's like, I, I feel deeply concerned if they were to add predatory animals into the game, like that you had to worry about them. Because I made the comment, if I'm running around with like a pipe wrench, you know, like a brown bear or, you know, a black bear shows up, you're, you're not fighting off a black bear or brown bear with a little pipe wrench. Come on. That's not a thing that's happening. And I wouldn't want that because then that means you kind of get pigeonholed into using guns, which is like, okay. So, you know, you get, you get, you see like the brown bear pop up, so you pull out your 45 Magnum, and you start blasting away out to deal with the bear and all the zombies. And I get that idea, but like, but now that means I must always carry a gun around me with me it's like but I don't want to do that that changes the change the entire way of playing the game like I said we have no confirmation that's a thing is that a challenge says face I mean I'm sure they'll be the person who's like I took a bag full of pencils and I killed a brown bear with it oh yeah I'm I'm super sure that they'll go into your setting like you'll be able to go into your settings and tick and go I do not want animals or I do not want predatory animals or you know turn them down to zero populate like there'll be something it's just like I'm I'm concerned about the NPCs I think they'll do a good job of it 
but I do worry that they'll completely change the feel of the game to have like good and bad NPCs wandering around town. Because like this game is very lone survivor feeling. You're the only person left. You're just trying to survive. You're trying to do your thing, that kind of thing. Versus like State of Decay is very much on the other end where it's like there's survivors freaking everywhere in State of Decay. And it's cool. I like it. But it's a different game. Like the entire feel is different. It's more like trying to uh, continuation of society in the zombie apocalypse is the feel of State of Decay. Versus this, you know, there's no hope of survival. This is how you died. Well, I mean, if there are tons and tons and tons of people around, maybe you do survive. Maybe humanity lives on. I also don't want to be like walking around and you go near a house and you start hearing a gun pop off and you either have to like run away or whatever because it's a hostile NPC. But we'll see. I've I've been impressed by the approach the devs have given so far, so I do have confidence if it's not good, it won't happen, they'll figure it out. But I do worry about some of those things and how it could change the entire game. Uh, did you see what the devs post about the NPC, about the genealogy and stuff? I did not. Is that a is that a recent Thursdoid? They might limit it to docile creatures. It could be. It could be that we're talking about just stuff you eat, like you can hunt rabbits and deer and stuff like that. You know, and it could be like animal husbandry kind of stuff. So it could be that there just isn't any predator animals. Oh yeah, and I and for the record, I am one hundred percent down with um mods making all sorts of dangerous, ridiculous animal like grizzly bears and black bears and Kodiaks, even though it makes absolutely no sense for a Kodiak bear to be anywhere near Kentucky. Um, give me a moment, I'm going to sit my desk back down because I'm getting tired of standing. Uh, when you do have a standing desk, whatever, the joke is of what is the position you should be at your desk? Well, whatever you weren't doing 15 minutes ago is basically move around, don't stay stationary. So I'm going to quickly do that and I'll be right back. Okay, give me one moment. I'm going to permit you. Okay. All right, I'll go. So you sleep well. I just want to see what the what the comment was real fast because I'd be curious to know this. Yeah, okay. It's yep. There's like a mouse over that and actually see what it is. Uh, since you have to do a Thursday on any PC, here's a little insight of what I'm doing right now, says Lemmy, who's one of the devs for uh, Project Zomboid. So before the... Before game start, assuming we now have a default state date, start date, I'm generating tons of families, starting with grandparents, giving them children, marrying the children, other family children, giving them children, and if they're old enough, then I divorce some of the parents and all that. Then I'm remarrying and marrying. What? What is? Killing off people who would all die, the family tree, splitting households. I sign each household a random house. Oh, ridiculous. Okay, so he's like making like an entire like family trees, all that sort of stuff, like when you start the game, and that some of them will and won't survive the zombie apocalypse, and that's what all your geez. Okay. And I'll like even try and get back to their homes. Okay, so they're they're gonna add a lot of depth to these characters. Alright, I'm down. So yeah, that means you're probably not going to have many, um, I need to adjust my mic one moment. My mic is not where it's supposed to be. Because you want your mic to be facing your mouth and fairly close. The farther your mic is away from your mouth, the more like it sounds like you're talking from an echoey chamber. And in addition to that, the more I can pick up all sorts of other background crap trying to get the volume one. Man, that, that sounds, that's really awesome. So they're trying to give the NPCs ridiculous levels of death. Yeah, no, they 
they that was the thing it's like the npcs ones i'm like okay like i'm concerned but at the same time with the track record that indie stone has if anyone can make it work they're really good choice people like they're the, they're the ones i'd see them sit there and go look we're on our fifth iteration of this update it's not where we want yep and echo chamber chamber i already got that on twitter Uh, Nasty says, I gotta drop off the child. Will lurk if you're not on when I've returned. Sleep well. Thank you so much, Nasty. I do really approach, appreciate that. It always feels weird when I sit there and say, you know, I thank you so much, Nasty, and all that, because it's like, it feels like an underhanded compliment kind of thing. Like, I get that's the screen name, so I'm not being mean, but it just feels, like, weird to say it like that. Yeah, thank you for the lurk and thank you for hanging out. Uh, Cole says, You stream when I am going to sleep and when I wake up and when I go to lecture and when I am at lecture and when I come home from lecture. That is awesome. I mean, we are going later. Like, this this is usually about them. No problem. I'll try and remember. Like, it is one of those things that... I, I do try and remember people's screen names and what they prefer to be referred to as. Um, the more and more, like, like if I'm in a bit middle of a fight or, like, chat is blowing up, I do lose track of people that's like, oh, right, this is the person that wants to be called that. It's tricky. Wait, I'll try and remember to call Yana. Yeah, no, it's... Right, it's not a big deal to me either. It's just one of those things that, like, it's a, it feels weird to say just because, you know, when do you call people nasty and not be saying something mean? It's not that it can't happen. It's not something you just bump into particularly often. How is it already 1 p.m. in game? Come on. Because I would. There was a knife in the bush. Oh yeah, I grabbed the knife. It's probably there's probably a delay. Um, I mean, it was a kitchen knife. I don't care about the kitchen knife. I grabbed the hunting knife though. And if there's a second one, I mean we're gone now. But thank you. Yeah, because I would like to get a little bit more progress. You know, wrapping up Rosewood, because the Rosewood felt like it was basically done, and then we ran into like two, three hordes on our way out. I'm gonna do a lap, kill whatever showed up. I think someone had in their groin area. Eek. Oh, if it's that, it's probably the kitchen knife. Yeah, kitchen knives are pretty crap. Like, early game, I pick them all up. I think we probably, now I think about it, we bet you if I go into my, um, side weapon storage i'm probably sitting on like 30 kitchen knives from early game that i will never use ever again at this point because i'm finding hunting knives at a point that usually i'm on a net positive but sometimes i'll have a run where we go out and come back with less than we went in snoring just a little bit. Like, I'm noticing it's not picking up on my mic, but I just noticed it's like... I mean, she's sleeping in a beanbag chair at the moment, so it's not exactly, like, the greatest way to be sleeping for sound sleep. Man, that's pretty exciting about the uh, NPC stuff. Wizbeak says, I like to make spears out of all the pristine knives of all the kings gives purpose and my duct tape, wood, and glue. Yep, all kinds. That's the reason it's like all of the kings. I'm like, what? Knives all kinds? Yeah, that, uh, like if you're making spears, picking up like kitchen knives, like sure, I'm only going to make a couple of kitchen knives or a couple of spears out of these kitchen knives, but whatever. You know, you get spear. It was interesting to read, um, or not read, I heard from, uh, Mr. Lamprey 
that so there's a whole thing that you know people are talking about that it was a you know there's a belief that it was a bug that the machete does not lose durability when you make spears but apparently that was like a deliberate game design choice like the dev said no like when you make you know make a spear and you're using a machete it doesn't do durability damage that they consciously decided on that it's like huh Can you survive a crash at 100 to a zero? I think you technically might be able to, but you're probably going to die. Because I don't think it's like hard coded in the game, and I could be wrong about this, that you hit this at X speed, you take Y damage. I think it's those things that when you, uh, when you hit stuff, it kind of rolls to see what injuries you take, and those determine the damage, is the way I believe it works. I could be 100% wrong in that, because clearly I've not tested it. But that that would be a good thing for someone to like actually test and confirm. I do know if you slap into things going 100 miles per hour, even if you live, you may wish you hadn't. Because you're probably talking like, high risk of busted limbs and all that, and if you flat out break a leg in this game, it basically means your character's out of commission for like a couple of weeks, especially if you have like slow healer. Which can just be absolutely infuriating to deal with, just like wandering around your base unable to do much. Make a cargo airborne? No, I'm not going to. Like you've been around here enough, Colo. You know, you know I don't just ramp cars. You also know I don't just like randomly do whatever I'm commanded. Like you know that's a thing I never do. I'm not. There isn't a quick save button. There is a back up your save file which takes like five minutes to ten minutes button it's not even a button it's like copying directories if you wanna if you wanna see cars launch into the air you're gonna need to do that one on your own time kinda of thing like kill a bunch of zombie bodies pile them in a spot and drive over them at speed Like, I'm not going to just throw away a run because I was like, do it. Do it now. Like, even if someone has, like, dropped, like, 50 bucks in the chest, like, hey, 50 bucks, go slam yourself into a tree. It's like, no, that's not what we're doing here. Yeah, but I'm not doing it, Colo. And that's just the end of that. Like that's that's the type of stuff like I never do those requests or anything like that because why would I aim why are you trying to make a sell Yeah. Oh, it is so weird where they draw the lines between what you can and can't do while driving. Like, I can make a salad, and you clearly hear, like, the person cutting up the stuff, putting in the bowl, but pouring oats into a bowl? Flat out. Not happening. Unacceptable. You, you cannot put oats in a bowl while driving. It is not an acceptable or doable thing. Flat out impossible. There's been a few, there's been like a, some other like really random ones. I'm like, no, like really you can do, like you can do that driving. You shouldn't because distracted driving is super dangerous. But in like real life, it's like, no, really you can super do that. But then the thought of just making a salad behind the wheel, going 50 miles an hour down the road. You're like, so like, am I, am I just like slapping the cutting board down on top of my steering wheel and like trying, like holding the board with one hand, trying to chop at it with the other hand. And then, you know,
you actually can't make a salad while uh while killing zombies. If you if you're moving, you can't make it. Like if we watch do I have room for anything else? No, I don't. If I choose like add something, you start moving, you'll stop cutting whatever it is, and it'll just sit in your main pouch. Like it won't actually go into the salad. You have to stand still and do it. But doing at 50 miles per hour down the road. A-okay. Yeah, you can't you can't pour oats into a, a bowl. Flat out not acceptable. There was a few others that came up there like that. It's like, wait, I can't. I can't do that, like, the thing that takes, like, one hand to do in real life, that's, that's just unacceptable behind the wheel. But, like, cutting up salad, A-OK. -okay. I mean, the, the bigger question about is why can I make a salad behind the wheel while driving? Not, not the other things. I'm okay with the other things not being outdone. Uh, Tenzin says, haven't you ever made a salad while driving? I mean, hell, taking like one of those salads in a bag thing and like driving and like trying to like shake the salad and then like tear open the seal and like eat it, you know, forget like even even if it's like, like even because like even eating it with like a fork kind of thing would be hard. Like you'd have to sit there and like kind of like finger food it, just like have it sitting between you and like finger fooding the salad, which I mean, gross. Assuming you're putting dressing or something on your everything's going to be gross. That's awful. And then you choose like a salad as something like chickpeas or something. And so you're trying to like take these chickpeas out by like one at a time and put them in your mouth because you can't. It's not like you can just like scoop salad into your hand and like actually have it not spill everywhere. My wife snored really loud there for a second. I was like, did that actually pick up on the mic? Nope. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Cause it'd be kind of it'd kind of be a thing to just have to be like, hey. You need to take that someplace else. Uh, let's see. Not gonna lie, sounds horrible. Smoking while driving is hindering enough that I do, like, the hindering enough that I do it only on the highway. Uh, Goldiro says, do you carry an extra car battery when you travel? No, but I've talked about it. I really probably should carry, like, an extra heavy battery, an extra regular battery, an extra sports battery. Just for the purpose of if I see a nice car, you know, I can plop the battery in as a backup kind of thing. Uh, but I do actually have cars strategically placed in like two or three locations on the map where I've pulled their battery and like put the battery in the trunk so it doesn't drain during the winter. Uh, for the purposes, if something ever happens to my car, I have multiple locations I can walk to, whatever's the closest to deal with it. Um, but yeah, I probably should carry extra batteries. Like I've got the room to put two or three batteries in the back of here, like one for each car size. Alco says driving with two MC two MC squared of view area. Oh, yes. Two MC squared of view area is easier than making a salad normally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two centimeter. That's the reason I was like MC squared. I'm like, what? What? <laughs> nah, I gotcha. Yeah, Goldir said, yeah, I ran out of I ran out a car battery once and well I was not prepared and I panicked panicked. Oh, so you did something like you your car stalled and you left like the headlights on or the radio on or something like that and the battery died, that kind of thing. I'm I'm assuming. Uh Cole saying, my keyboard tries to kill me something sometimes.
Yeah, I've definitely gotten my battery a little bit on the low side by like just leaving the radio on and walking away. The car had stalled and I didn't realize it and it just sat there for like a day and a half blasting the radio. It's like, oh, this battery is not in good shape. Oh, interesting. I should probably check that on my battery. Because I've, I've never had a car battery die in me where I didn't, you know... I didn't leave something like a headlight or something like that on. So I've never I've never had a battery just like outright fail on me. Like it would make sense if the game was trying to be like real life. You can't use a battery forever, eventually they wear out. So let's just take a look. Battery 100% charged. Awesome. A rough time says happened to me yesterday. Uh yeah. Uh, Tenzil, you, your car does recharge the batteries. That's the reason I was like, when she was like, it ran out, I was like, huh? Or when they ran out, I actually don't know, I shouldn't assume, my apologies. Getting late, not being as uh, on top of it as I normally am. But yeah, typically your car will recharge batteries. You can have a battery that's like got really low, qu like... Stat, I'm wondering if maybe it doesn't recharge as well. Yeah, that's us thinking is maybe if the battery's condition is low enough, it doesn't recharge as well. And so if it gets low, low enough, you can actually just drain the battery like it won't recharge reasonably. So you have to kind of do those things where you can drive around for it on a while but the battery like slowly still loses charge because it's not getting recharged. Oh yeah, I actually have a um, a car battery charger in the trunk, and then I've dropped um, pretty much every gas station we passed. I've dropped a uh, generator at it with fuel and everything. So no matter where I am on the map, if I were to have a battery problem or there's a car, I'm like, ooh, I want that, I want that car. Let me just juice up that battery real fast. Like, I can do that. That said, I don't think with this playthrough I have any reason to get rid of this car and replace it at any point. I don't think I'm going to find a car with a particularly higher horsepower engine. That isn't like a sports car that can't tow or whatever. Because I want to say this thing's like 460 or 480 horsepower or whatever. All right, well, I'm going to do a quick lap around town, killing the zombies we see. And, uh... Oh, I'm not going to actually get far because we're getting ready to be sleepy time. So I'm going to go to the the um, neighborhood first. We'll do a quick lap around town, kill the zombies we see. Once, once we get past the, uh... Going to bed and all that stuff. And then after that, I may start on the prison. I don't think I'm going to get particularly far in the prison. Um, before I have to back out because of this tropical storm. Alco says the text or the speech to text quality is quite bad on your channel. I've I've actually heard mostly really good things, and like I did I did check it out before. Actually, why do I not see it at all? One moment. Why why is my text to speech not even updating? Did it turn off? Um, are all of you see, still seeing my text-to-speech? Or speech-to-text, whatever. Because for me, it, it's like... I mean, you talked about it and you upset it. Um, That's so weird. Huh. I mean, it's still. Oh, there it goes. Maybe, maybe the uh, the service that was running it just kind of choked. That could be what it was. I'm willing to bet what happened is the service that runs behind scene probably had some problem, which led to it give you like giving you really bad results right when it happened, and then it died because of whatever issue it was. Because it's, I see it's come back up. Because yeah, I I tried to watch it. 
And it's done pretty good. And it misses words, like, when I use words that aren't, you know, like, slang kind of stuff that wouldn't be, like, dictionary words. I know it misses that kind of stuff. But I've noticed it's mostly been good. If anyone has been using it, like, oh man, your your speech to text is awful. You know, like if if you can tell me the kind of stuff it's doing, that'd be great. I do try and make it decent. The downside is I have to kind of use whatever free stuff I can get a hold of for that kind of thing. Or because like for the really quality stuff, you have to pay pretty decent money, and we're not talking like one-time fee. We're talking, you know, like subscription kind of stuff. And usually it's based by how much you're having converted. Uh, Ko said I had a hard time understanding that. I'm sorry, unfortunately there is a delay so I can usually never tell what part things translated or came across or not. Because between delays it can be anywhere from like three seconds to like almost a full minute. It's like I've, I've seen where people as they watch the stream, especially the longer and longer that you can effectively fall behind what's actually happening live. It's just way, you know, buffering and all that with Twitch can work is sometimes you'll get way behind. It depends, like, uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so I'd, I'd say, like, my mod computer, which has been watching this the whole time, probably behind, like, eight to ten seconds at this point. Thank you for everyone who has been lurking, who's been tuning in, who's been chatting, who's been following, subscribing, doing the bits, the donuts, the hosts, the raids, and all of that good stuff. It all helps, and I really do appreciate it. I do hope you are enjoying the stream. Uh, Tenzel says, I do. Thank you. Like, the, the amount of positive feedback I've got has been absolutely fantastic. And I've also, like, I, I will say, one of the things I worry about is, you know, there's such thing as, like, constructive criticism and then there's just criticism. Like, constructive criticism is like, oh, hey, you know, just so you know, like, your volume's a little too loud on this, this sound here, or, you know, Hey, just, you know, it's hard to understand you when you say this word or whatever, like, when you lean away from the mic. You know, those are all things that are that are very actionable, positive, and all that. I was worried that's going to deal with just a lot of regular criticism, where it's not like, oh, your stream is crap. And you're like, okay, do you mind elaborating? And so I was worried about that. I, I haven't had a single serious instance. Like, I, I've mentioned before that people are really good about it, and then, you know, like, right afterwards, jokingly, someone would be like, you know, stream, stream, stream is bad. Like, someone just joking around with it. But I haven't had, like, someone actually pop in and be like, your, your stream is garbage, why do you stream? Which impresses me, because when I get conference talks, you have, like, tons and tons of good stuff, and you'll have, like, that one... Like, uh, that, like, one person who, it doesn't matter what you're saying, is, like, a total jerk about everything. Like, they have nothing better to do with their time. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tenz... Or, Tenzil says, It makes working from home way better. Yeah, and I absolutely... When I was... Before I started streaming, when I was working from home, I would have streams going. Like, that's that's what Octavian Zero, Brittle Knee, and, um... Ziggy D Live were for me, and on occasions like Buana and some of the others, I would also have them on. Like I bounce between streams depending on what games I was in or what mood I was in. Uh, Angel of the Blood says your shirt is orange. Boom, got him. 
uh, Tenzel, Tenzel says, if someone is complaining about that, why are they here? Oh yeah, absolutely. If I had someone who just dropped, it's like, your stream sucks. Why do you do this? Like they just hop in, like not even joking, just hopped in and did that. And I'd be like, and bye. Um, you're saying the shirt is orange, but the other shirt, that might be my merch. I still found it funny. Like I went to, uh, I went to like, you know, I had like the merch cup and everything and I had gotten those because, and the whole reason I got that stuff wasn't to be like, let me show off all my merch. I wanted to make sure they weren't crap. Like, I, you know, I, I would be pretty upset if. Uh, your speech to text when you stutter gets befold. Oh, yeah. I, oh, I don't have a merch command. There's, um, on the bottom of the about section, there's like a merch section. But basically, I like, I didn't get everything. I got the stuff that I'm like, okay, this is stuff I could see wanting or whatever. Like, I got some of the coffee cups. I got some of, like, the shirts and all that. And, you know, like, it was just like, I want to make sure it's not crap. That's all. Like, I don't, I don't want, like, if I got the merch and I was not happy with the quality, I would tear down the merch store. Like, that, that was the idea. Make, make sure I'm not going and hang, hey, you know. If you want to do stuff to support the channel, you can get this. And then it was like absolute junk. I'd feel bad about it. But, uh, so I got everything. I was generally happy. Like, there's one or two things that can confuse me. Like, I have that gray shirt you may have seen me with the half sleeve. That's also some of my merch. And it came in, I'm like, is is this shirt not supposed to have hem on the bottom? Like, all the other ones do. But it was like, that one is like, is it not supposed to have hem on? And I was like, yeah, that's, that's normal for that style. I'm like, okay, so I just don't know fashion. It's it's a me problem. That's a normal thing for the shirt to be this way. I'm just used to everything being hemmed. Well, it's it's pretty fine. As I've been pretty happy with all of it. If I wasn't happy with anything, I would I would pull it. On for the record, if you do get anything on that the merch store thing, basically I get five bucks no matter what item you buy. I get five bucks.